Today, we're showing you how to make some game day crowd pleasing appetizers. All Tex Mex style. <laughs> Trust us, when you serve these apps, you'll have your own cheerleading squad. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, okay, we're a little excited. We're yes. not only making appetizers, we're making Tex Mex, and yes. there's nothing better. So Love let's get it. started. Let's do it. Number one. Jalapeno Popper Wonton. Yes. <laughs> wow. We're really excited. We are so like, I mean, <laughs> we have not even had any sugar or nothing. I love it though. Look at these awesome wonton cups. Now, how I got to this stage is, how I got to here is Tell I got, us. this is a muffin pan. These are mini muffins and there are 24 of them. Uh, and I just sprayed them with some uh, cooking spray and then I just, very carefully, I just shoved them all in their little holes. Little wonton wrapper. Yeah, and then I had the 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 uh, oven for 350, and I baked it for eight minutes. That's it, just eight minutes, <laughs> because we're gonna put throw them back in there once we've stuffed them. That's right. And speaking of stuffing, let's get that. Let's stuffing make some together. stuffing here. I'll get this out of your way. All right, thank you. Now we have got this set up, so we're just gonna fly through these. <laughs> yeah. by, but you can make all these starting the first half and <laughs> be ready by halftime. Totally. And not miss the most important part, oh. halftime. All right, so I. <laughs> have a eight ounce package of and I whooped cream this is cream cheese yes it is <laughs> is it not an eight ounce package it's an eight ounce yes package <laughs> of room, room temperature. temperature cream cheese yes and then I've got sour cream this is a quarter cup here let me have that little spoon yep. there. all right and then we have some so okay. I'm gonna take a little more time than Chris wants me to. And then I have some garlic powder, right? Yes. And that is a teaspoon. Yes, it is. <sighs> and let's do a little salt <laughs> and right. pepper. Thank you, Sue. It's best if we work <laughs> with um, a big pinch and a big pinch. <laughs> and then we're gonna throw in our cheese. This is Monterey Jack. Yum. That is a three-quarter cups. Then we Shredded. got three-quarter cups of cheddar. Ooh, These are just fine. so heavy. I mean, you probably, surely you've had jalapeno, jalapeno poppers. How about, how about, how about, jalapeno poppers at your favorite Tex-Mex restaurant. So this is that same filling all combined. Yeah, and then here are two jalapenos that we cut up. Because you've got to have, you've got to have jalapenos. For jalapeno poppers. Yes. So seed them and, you know, get those seeds out and finally chop oh, them. Oh, leave a couple but, seeds in there. But, well, you can, if, yeah, but the, you may be thinking <laughs> that seems like a lot of heat. It's surprisingly not. No, it's not. It's actually good. And then bacon. you got to have some bacon. You have to have bacon. And I've got a... Actually, there's eight strips in here, but I'm going to save a little bit so that I can throw it on top. Too. So we bake those till they're obviously nice and crumbly. You can do this way in advance. And then I'm going to save a little bit so that I can put on the top or twister on top of those things. And now I'm just going to mix this all together. I love this, and I love these wontons get so crispy. They are real. So when we... <clears throat> Excuse me, when we first did this, we did this in a larger 12, like a regular muffin pan that holds 12, and they were good, but I just, it seemed like the there ratio of too much cream cheese cream to cheese, filling was yeah. like, wow, that's yeah. great. I don't know yeah. if I can finish it. This is perfect, and this is perfect for serving oh, um, yes. friends at, at during the football game. Everyone's just going to flip for it. All right, so okay. this is Where'd good and go mixed up. Oh, I put it, yeah, it's there they are. All right. Okay, that's beautiful, so Wesley. Here, I'm going to just put this over here. Let's put the wontons here. You put your wontons there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Now, You've got a lot of energy. I know. So now we're just going to stuff these. We're going to use about a spoonful yeah. each. Yeah, yeah, they don't need to be overstuffed. Um, yes. And then I'm going to come come right along behind. I've got a little extra of this cheese and a little extra of the bacon that Wesley's kept on onto the side. <laughs> Which I worked. did not eat. Amazingly. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to continue that with all these. Hey, Lena, now on that dish first and the beans first. Oh, oh, oh. Has the line to shoot one. How festive. Yay! Those are great already. Yay. Now I just stick, it, stick these in the oven for eight minutes and... You've got your appetizer number one. Perfect. Well, we got to eat them first. <laughs> well, you know that'll happen. <laughs> are those Yay! not? That's perfect game day grub. Look at how cute oh. those are. Oh, no, <laughs> I just so cute. I let them go in the oven for about 10 minutes. Took them out, uh, let them cool down, and I put them onto this uh, tray. And now we're gonna. And then we're them. gonna eat them. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Oh, <laughs> they're just so like so munchable. It's oh like my god. <laughs> I love jalapeno poppers, mm. and I love the crunchiness of these. They're so good. Yeah. And they're a thousand percent Luna proof. Yes. <laughs> now for recipe number two. Best ever chicken quesadilla. 
And I am not kidding you when I say they are best ever. I they know are. that's boastful, and I apologize. No, it's it is true. They're super it good. Is a fact. They're fabulous. So let's they talk are about amazing. it. Y'all need to try these. So it all starts with the chicken, of course. So what I've got, I got a skillet, and I put some oil in it, and I had some chopped chicken. I'll go with a couple pounds. This makes anywhere from four to six quesadillas. Um, but anyway, I think I had two nice sized chicken breasts that I diced, and then I cooked in there until it was no longer pink. And then I added four tablespoons of of taco seasoning. Now you can absolutely use store-bought taco seasoning. Just remember that store-bought is going to have sodium in it. If you make it from scratch, like mine, doesn't have sodium, so you'll need to salt your chicken. And then you're going to add two tablespoons of flour to that, and then you're going to add a cup of chicken stock and just cook that. And after you've, it's coated first with the seasoning, and then you add the chicken stock, and then it just starts to form this amazing sauce. It's really, really so incredible. good, y'all. If it's really thick, sometimes those. Excuse me, those seasonings have a little thickeners in them. You may need to add another half a cup of uh, chicken stock just to get the right consistency. But you want it to look kind of like this because what you're going to do is you're going to then uh, fish, out, your fish out the chicken. And we've got that right here. Doesn't that look delicious? So you've got that. <laughs> yes. Then you've got all this sauce that we made that I love that's going to be layers of flavor. This is just good old green enchilada sauce yes. that you get from the uh, Mexicans. A little aisle. salsa verde. A little salsa verde, whatever you got. <laughs> and these are green chilies, chopped green chilies. Again, you can find these in the Hispanic section of your supermarket. We got some good old cheddar cheese. And we got some scallions. Green onions, and, yes. Some green onions, and we've got some tortillas. Tortillas. Okay. Tortillas. So now this is, it's fun to make, but you just, you know, don't get nervous. If it gets a little sloppy, that's kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, that's okay. all right. So now I've added a good, healthy amount of, I'm going to turn this up a little bit, probably good table, two tablespoons of vegetable oil to my nonstick skillet. You're kind of light, not kind of, you are lightly frying these on the exterior, <laughs> which is a big part of what makes them best ever. I know, they, they are, we've been having these for years, yeah. and everybody who comes over is like, is Chris making his quesadillas? I'm like, yes, Chris they were is making a, his quesadillas. They were a staple in the neighborhood there for a while. Yes. People literally just came to the door. Oh, yeah, up in um, Inwood, is no, you started making them in the village, too. Well, I perfected them, I think, in, in, in Inwood. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm just building as we go, and there's really no rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of drizzle a little on. So you guys, good. This is one, this, we've made this, I made this for a friend of ours, Chica, that's her nickname, Chica, it's a long story why it's Chica, but we, re, and she loved them so much, we renamed them Chica Quesadillas, <laughs> and, um, Look at how, but then you, then later on she was like, could you make this low fat? And we're like, no. Yeah, no. no. Well, I mean, her, she aspired to be a rock at, and she, she <laughs> should have been, but you know, it was always like, I gotta watch my weight. So that's why, you know. Chris and Wesley's was not probably the best place to come visit. Okay, <laughs> so rock cat. I know, I know. So, okay, now I'm, isn't that beautiful? That's so good. Y'all, I find myself um, lounging next to the appetizer <laughs> table during the game. Yeah. Sometimes I forget the game is on. I know. Just because these appetizers are so I know. good. Now this is a secret ingredient. 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 Um, this is some pressed garlic. garlic. I first tried this years ago, and I was um, we were amazed at how delicious it is. If I can get this thing to work, you don't need a there whole lot. Probably there just like go. and just sprinkled around. It, mm. it, it adds mm. just this little pop of flavor. And now we are going to do the top top twister. this, and I'm going to wait. Is what, this is well, scary. No, no, it's not scary. Oh no, it's still got. You're gonna you want to <laughs> wait till the bottom starts to get nice and gold and brown and crusty. It's usually three to four minutes. I, I'm rushing, and they're like, oh, I got time. Yeah, <laughs> let's go pop a beer. <laughs> anyway, so we're, you'll be back to see the old flippage. Okay, right. here's the moment of hilarity, usually. No, you got this. But don't worry, if some flops out, <laughs> you can always add it right back. Yay! That is golden delicious. Golden, crispy, and beautiful. <laughs> and now it kind of shrinks up as it cooks, and, and so that bottom uh, tortilla will do the same. And I'm telling you, the texture is to die for. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. I, it's so great. So we just cooked that until it got nice and crisp and golden on the bottom side. Then I just dumped it right out of the skillet onto this cutting board, and now I got a it's nice, my favorite, you know, trusty uh, pizza cutter, and it just cuts beautifully. <gasps> Another Yay. thing on these, these keep heated in the oven on a low temperature perfectly, so you can. Oh, look at that uh, cheese pull. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm taking two pieces. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Look at y'all. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute, now I just need a little salsa. A little dollop of salsa, salsa. a little dollop of sour cream is mm. always a nice touch. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, okay. Is there a good cheese bowl? Uh, I, well, I don't know. It's just <laughs> deliciousness right here. 
I'm so excited. This is, this has been one of my favorites for a long time. I'm just picking it up. Oh, are you? Oh, that's yeah, a good yeah. idea. That's a good idea. Here I go. Oh, look at the cheese. Mm. 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 Hang on. Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> mm. Happy, happy, happy. My all-time favorite. My all-time favorite. It oh. has been for years, you guys. You gotta make it. Mm, that is a thousand percent Luna Proof. Yes, now let's move on to appetizer number three. Homemade guacamole. Yay, one of my favorite things in the world. I mean, totally. truly perfect for game day grub. All right, let's get started. Let's do it. Because ah, the loon's making the guacamole. He makes good guac. Uh, thank you. Oh. Um, all right, so we've got our mocajete here, which we love, and it is seasoned. And he beyond loves belief. to say mocajete. I say, <laughs> yeah. what the heck? Uh, mocajete. <laughs> and then we've, so I've got two, um, Two good sized Haas avocados in there that we're gonna get all dressed up. They're nice and ripe. They're not too ripe. They're, you know, when you're at the store in the produce section, you wanna check them. They yeah. shouldn't be like mushy, but, uh, yet but they you want them a little hard a just because you know that they won't be they're I not like. I remember the first time years ago I made a, a guacamole and I didn't really, and it was like as hard as a brick. And I put it in my food processor and brrr, it turned to like stone. That's because <laughs> you left the stone in it. Oh, well, I'm there's kidding. that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so we've got our. our our avocados in here. We've got three minced garlics, cloves, mm -hmm. cloves <laughs> of garlics, and then we've got two tablespoons of cilantro. cilantro. This is cilantro. A, this, all these flavors really do come to you. May be thinking, wow, they're putting the kitchen sink in there. <laughs> it's awesome. So it's so we're gonna do it. Um, I can't talk. <laughs> yes, you can. Because all right, and then I've got a serrano pepper that we put out there on the grill and got it all roasted. And then we took out the seeds and chopped it up. So Serrano to carry some heat, and uh, so one is going to give you just a mild little bit of heat. We left um, some seeds in it, too, and we left so. a few seeds. If you like it kind of spicy, do two. Um, so good though. Yeah. Then we've got some sun-dried tomatoes that are in oil, and we uh, dice those up. That's two tablespoons there. And if you don't want to do serranos, you could do jalapeno or just leave the peppers. Out. Are you going to talk? I'm every just throwing time. in my commentary because <laughs> it wouldn't be Chris and Wesley without that. No. And then I've got two tablespoons of um, red onion, sorry. <laughs> like, Chopped red uh, onion. Uh, Yummy. Chopped, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I've got half a tomato that we chopped. <laughs> it is chopped. <laughs> and now we're gonna add some bacon. Oh yeah. We've got four strips of bacon. While you're there. doing that, I'm gonna help you along. Yeah, We've got go some ahead. fresh lime juice. Oh, I can't even tell you right now how delicious this Doesn't is. Doesn't that to be. look amazing? Oh wait, and I need a like a teaspoon. Yeah, salt is super important. Salt. Yeah. You it's all... not the worst thing getting gu like beautiful guacamole and it's just under seasoned. Um, oh, that lime smells so I good. I know. It brings it all together. All right. I'm okay. Gonna, he likes. This he, is so. <laughs> he likes using his fork. I'm now, gonna fork it. I'm forking it. <laughs> now, obviously, if you don't have a mocha het bay, um, that's too bad. But if you don't, <laughs> most of us don't. You can do this in just a bowl, and it's super delicious. How's it going, man? It's good. I'm, I'm, I wish I would was serving this table side at like a Mexican. I know. So there. I mean, <laughs> in Texas where we live, and so often, you know, that it's so much fun to order your guacamole table side. And there's this one restaurant in particular that we've been going to for, for years, years called Midia uh, from scratch, and they just they use most the these ingredients. Yes. It's super fresh, and it's just. Uh, I don't know. It all comes together. I, you could also omit probably half of these ingredients, and it's still going to be delicious because <laughs> I love fresh avocado. Uh, uh, but I there's something it. about bringing all of these together. Yes. All right. This is going to take me a all second. Right, keep on mashing. Atlanta foul on it. His first and the team's first. Oh. Morris has the line to shoot one. Yo, uh -oh. I just flung some. Well, oh, okay. and there's Flo. Yeah. Flo, you don't like guac. We've tried this before. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know. That looks so good. Look Wesley. at that, y'all. That is restaurant quality. Yeah. There's also this device. Um, there's a uh, in, in Spanish, there's a name for it. I cannot, it's, I'm, it's, it's mocajete and something. It's like a mortar and pestle, but he doesn't like to use this. No, so, it's um, too big. This is a small area, so I need my little. Um, Forks. All right, are you ready to come out? Are we just digging? We're just, just digging family right style. In. Yeah, yes. this okay. is what we do. Okay, I'm oh, so really excited go. about this. This looks and smells. Mm. Every time. Every time, it's so good. That 
is amazing. Mm. I love it. That is 1,000% Lumber Brooms. Yes! <laughs> All right, we're on to appetizer number four. Tex-Mex queso. Yay, queso, I, queso, 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 queso. I tell you, if there's anything <laughs> in the world that is true, I say this for everything, but this dish, and this is like truly like what I like to call authentic Tex-Mex queso. It's not that super thick I, processed cheese with Rotel, which I grew up on and I love. But this yeah, is don't a, be bad now with Rotel not, and I'm not, But this is a, this is a little different. It's a little yeah. Thinner. This is like your restaurant style. Yeah, I think so. Okay, totally. so now we've got like a half an onion here, just a white onion, yellow onion, whatever you want to use. I've got two jalapeno peppers that that may seem like a lot, but I've I've seeded them and I finely chopped them. So good. And we're gonna let these cook down until they're nice and tender. It's about three to four minutes. Okay, you see how these are starting to brown a little bit? Yeah, They're getting pop. nice and soft. Pop. The seeds are popping. We've got hopping peppers. <laughs> anyway, now we've got uh, about a cup of nice, ripe, beautiful cherry tomatoes that we're going to go in, and these are going to break down, and they're just going to add so much flavor. All right, well, I'm going to eat this guacamole then. Okay, no, don't eat all of it. <laughs> Okay, so you see how these are broken down oh, now, and wow. they're just beautiful. I'm not gonna do that yet. I thought that was don't garlic. do it. Don't do it. I <laughs> thought that was garlic. This is garlic. So we're just building the flavors. Okay. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> I love this. Now, right here, this is the the trick to making one of the tricks to making great Tex-Mex te uh, queso. This is just a 12 ounce ounce can of evaporated milk that I put into this bowl. And to that, I'm adding two tablespoons <laughs> of cornstarch. I'm here. I can tell. Oh, I know, I know. But I like the <laughs> angle that everyone can see this from. I know you can help. Well, then to help. No, well, I'm, I'm joking. This is good. So I'm just going to mix this in like this. It feels good on my fingers, too. It's so nice and warm. <laughs> OK, so now that's fully um, incorporated. incorporated. And so th what that's going to do, it's so going to make cornstarch and, and evaporated milk. Evaporated so it's going to make milk. it really smooth and that evaporated milk is going to help thicken it a little bit but it's not going to get like I said not like the corn that. starch will help thicken it yeah but it's not going to get like that super gloopy um, you know processed cheese that we do like but this is a different kind of queso it's a different kind no, of queso, it's a queso that, the way queso should be well, I mean, there are those to who me. would argue with that, but I, I, I think it's I think just, we're purist queso. Oh, are we? Okay. <laughs> so now here's the other trick. The kind of cheese you want to use is American cheese. This is a half a pound of yellow American cheese. It just melts beautifully. Mm -hmm. It's it's not too heavy, um, and that's what I just love about it. And this is it a is just smooth and delicious. Yeah, it just makes the perfect queso. I'm telling you, it really does. Okay, we're gonna stir this until it's just melted. Okay, isn't that luxurious? Wow. I just, so it got nice and it got thick, but not too thick. So now the we're gonna. The color is great. Beautiful. Too. So now we're gonna add some seasonings. I've got um, a teaspoon of ground cumin, and then I've got a half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of just black pepper. Mm. We're gonna mix that in. These I love cooking with. These are the diced green peppers. I think they just, they're not spicy, they're mild. They just add a nice flavor. And then we're going to do um, a little bit of cilantro. That's like two tablespoons of cilantro. Cilantro doesn't give it an over heavily cilantro flavor. Look at that. Isn't that great? Wow. So I'm salivating. So now we're just going to stir this together and let it just uh, kind of simmer for literally a couple of minutes and then it's queso time. Yay! Oh, isn't this wow. just a thing of beauty? I mean, we haven't tasted it yet, but wow. I'm going to say. Well, we have tasted it. We have. And I mean, <laughs> I, I haven't made this in, the past. in a little while. And so we just. I know. It's just for pretty. Why not? Top it with a little pico de gallo, which is just chopped Yay. peppers and um, tomatoes. And okay, now you can. Wesley loves to serve this like this, and you know. Totally. You put it right want. down the table. Everybody get a spoon. Double and spoon dip. It over but your yeah, chip. get a spoon and get yourself. Yeah, no anyway. double dipping. I know. All right, I Only can't wait. Only your house. No, oh, please. <laughs> Our house. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm. I love him. Oh, look at that, y'all. That cheese. Yeah. Oh, hold, okay. Chris. Hold. I'm trying. I have right. been. <laughs> That's the real deal. I love it. That is so good, y'all. You know what's also good is if you put a little taco meat in there. Oh. And chorizo, it's so good. I am so excited. Oh. That, yeah, they should call this case so good. All right. <laughs> that is, can I say oh, what yeah. I want to say? <laughs> this is 1,000% Luna Brew. Yes. <laughs> Let's move on to appetize. Appetizer number five. Cheese pan nachos. Yay, nachos. <laughs> We're doing 
nachos. I love nachos. Okay. Me too. Let's, Let's I'm going to skip right, right into it. First of all, this chili is to die for. It's vegetarian, it's black bean and corn, and the flavor is Ooh, absolutely delicious. stunning. That it's is, And oh. it goes with these nachos perfect. So let me, I'm going to give you a real quick overview of how I did it. Quick rundown. I, I just got a nice pot like this, put some vegetable oil in there or some olive oil, and then we're going to throw in some nice veggies if I can remember them all. There's onion, there is red bell pepper, there is zucchini, there are uh, celery, there's carrots, there's jalapeno peppers, <laughs> and there is garlic. Everything. There's everything, everything that I can pull out of my garden, but no, it's so good. And yeah. you're just going to saute that and get it until it gets nice and soft. And then we're going to season that with some seasonings like cumin and chili powder, chili powder. and uh, cayenne pepper. And then just let that coat that. Then we're going to add some vegetable broth. Keep it vegetarian. Why not? And um, just let that simmer. And then we are going to really amp up the flavor with some tomatoes. Some I use my San Marzano top mm. tomatoes. Use my hands to squeeze those babies on in there and pour the juice. Hit it with a little salt and pepper, and then let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Then we're almost done. We're yeah. going to add in some black bean, drained black beans, some fire roasted corn, and some cilantro, and then just stir that up oh, and oh. let it heat. And that's it's it, baby. It's so great. And you know, we like to use a, a kind of a spicier chili powder for the vegetarian chili. Yeah. It just adds a little bit of mm to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whatever and, you like. And then we have the chips, which uh, I they just. They may look like just regular chips, but they are not. They're a chip above the rest. <laughs> I took some some corn tortillas and I got my trusty pizza cutter and I just cut them into quarters and then I threw them into our deep fryer let them get all or you could do it in your skillet yeah, with oil yeah and let them get all golden brown and then I drain them on some paper towels hit them with some salt and here they are. But we did a whole package of corn yeah, chips because we're doing package. we're doing our big old sheet pan here, <laughs> yeah, so we're not it. kidding around. These okay, are sheet pan nacho. Uh, these are sheet Look pan. Look at that already. And Just, this really, I mean, this you can and you can get messy. You can get messy. You <laughs> should get messy. So um, now, yeah, start now. We've got some wonderful so got shredded that. cheddar cheese. Yes, and then I'm just gonna throw this on there. Mm -hmm. The cheesier, the better, folks. But right. we're, this is two layers, so we're gonna do this first layer, and then we're gonna add some more. Yep. of the wonderful chips. Back. And so like I always say, when you're going with something like this, go, when you're doing, I, you know, it, just go with good ingredients. Go with some good quality cheddar. I like to get <laughs> my, for I know, Chris. My, my favorite block of cheddar. Well, you're so slow well, and I know, dainty. I didn't literally mean be messy. Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get a nice block of cheddar cheese and shred it, um, do it with on your box grater, any way you want to do it. But quality really does matter on something like this. <laughs> and look at those. We should call them mile high. I, they really should be because they are practically, I hope they'll fit in the oven. Chris, I'm slinging. careful. <laughs> you almost slung it on me. I almost got slung dog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A nacho slinging. Mm. Oh wow. Oh I wow. I know, I know. This mm. this this chili is amazing by itself. Wow. Um, but right. it's so good on this. And I am using the whole vat of chili. Yeah, We're, get some over here. Over here. We are a in, bunch over here. Come on. We are inviting the entire block. We are inviting the entire <laughs> block over. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. Cheese. Cheese and then Oh my cheese. gosh. Alright. There we go. There we go. There okay. We go. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Okay, okay. y'all. I've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees, and if I can lift this, uh, we're going to let it go for just about, I don't know, 10 minutes. I don't know what's your habit. <laughs> <laughs> nachos, please. It's nacho time. <laughs> it is nacho time, but it is our time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> is that not something to behold? Unbelievable. Folks, if you bring this out, at your, your guests, your family are going to just... They're going to love you more than they already do, which is probably not possible. <laughs> All right. Well, let's do a little few dollops. Yes. I'm, I'm going to do, do, do a dollop. Yes. There dollop we go. Sour cream. Oh, okay. oh wait a minute. Which, here. Mm, did, did I just screw it up? I did that. <laughs> here, right. you do a dollop over here. down here. <laughs> you dolloped when you shouldn't wait, have dolloped. Wait, where am I dolloping? Here, I'll just dollop right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's never a dull moment. Oh, God. Oh, okay. I didn't dollop. Here, dollop That's, right there. No. Okay. It doesn't matter where you dollop. <laughs> yeah. Dollop wherever you feel yeah, the dollop. right place to dollop. Give me another dollop of, over here. Okay. There we're, we we're dolloping our way into <laughs> insanity. All right. There. All right. So we've got dollops. Now I'm going to put a little bit of... Ooh, look at that. That is, that's what you've got right there is some cilantro. No, I'm looking at your... These are some pickled jalapenos. You, pickled you, jalapenos. you dollop it with whatever you yeah, feel like. Y'all, look at this. This is a party. This is perfect for game day. I'm game telling Game day you. could never be no. more festive, no matter the outcome uh, of the game. Oh, wow. 
Wow. I've, should we take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> I've taken several I know, pictures of this. To, okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna use gonna, a fork. No, I'm gonna use I'm a gonna fork. I'm gonna use this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I see one that I want right there. Oops. I'm just, I'm fingering them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this is Wesley's guacamole, by the way. Oh, come on. All right. Wow. Here we go. Yeah. Mmm, mm. the crunch. Mm. Oh, the chili. There's just something about a big platter of nachos. Oh, the spice of that chili. Mmm. Oh, and the crunch. Here's some serious crunchy chips. Those are amazing. Wow. This is 1,000% Luna Brown! Yay! Yes! <clears throat> I'm so clamped, I'm like choking on nachos. <laughs> so we hope you love this game day favorite. Yes. We love you guys. Have fun. Have fun. Bye, everybody. Yay. Those are nachos. Make them.